Great job by our offense controlling the ball in the second half. And we were able to make some adjustments at halftime and uh, you know come up with some three and outs. And, uh, and I thought that really turned the game in our favor. I felt like we had the game uh, in control in the second half. In the beginning, you know, a lot, a lot of tempo, um, a lot of uh, different formations and, and movements and things we needed to adjust to. Um, you know, I, I like to tell the players all the time that come game day, their, their mistakes are on me. So really, I felt like it was a matter of uh, catching up to what, uh, what they were doing. And uh, they do a lot of challenging things. Obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a multiple offense. Um, with a lot of with a lot of moving parts, so you know we have veterans, and uh, you know there was never any panic. I mean we felt uh, good about our adjustments. I probably rattled off 15 adjustments at halftime, you know, that, it, within a space of 30 seconds. So you never know how much, how many they get. But we, we did some good things in the second half in terms of you know ma matching um, the things that they were doing to hurt us. And uh, I thought it was a great performance by our guys. And, they never back down. They never back down. Got a, got a really good group of guys with great leadership. And um, you know, give us an inch, we'll defend it. That's what I'm saying. And, and we just, you know, you, you want to, you feel good about going out there. Once we got things under control, I really thought like we had the game in control from a defensive standpoint. I know you don't want to give away all the secrets, but you talked a lot about adjustments. Coach Bendy talked a lot about adjustments. What are some of the things that you guys have to do? Better? It was a lot about, you know, keeping the edge, you know, on our rush, making some uh, making some coverage adjustments um, uh, to, uh, you know, get people over the top, Peels, Peels interception. Um, Colby did a great job of getting where he needs to be from a little bit of a, disgu from a disguised look. Um, you know, we, we played kind of... Uh, you know, we were, we were off a lot in the first half with our guys not not up close, you know, trying to uh, get our calls and adjustments made. And in the second half, we came after them. You know, we, we turned up the heat a little bit. So there was, there was some blitz adjustments and things we needed to do to, to bring things from the correct side so that, um, you know, so that we could keep the quarterback in the pocket. A lot of, a lot of movement pass. Yeah, it looked like in early when they were having success, it looked like they weren't running much on you. Were you pleased with the run defense? Yeah, I thought our run defense was stout. I mean, I'm not one to look at stats. I know the field, and, and uh, I thought we were we were stout against the run. We just got out of place a few times. Um, really, that's on, that's on me, and and we were able to uh, adjust to it and uh, you know just hang in there. We kind of you know we said at halftime we took their best punch and. In the second half, we were going to throw more punches than we did. The guys came out and they fought hard. What was your reaction to the roughing the passer call, and how were you able to kind of compartmentalize that? Because there was, you know, more football we played there. Yeah, um, I try to have no reaction because you know we need to call. I need to think, be thinking a couple plays in advance. But I, I'm interested to see that one on film because I have no idea what happened. I mean, um, Brock said defenseless in the pocket, but I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. So that was a, that was a blow, but, you know, um, it didn't really affect me personally because I was just trying to stay ahead for the next play. Last question for Coach. Jason Taylor is obviously going to have to play a, uh, a bigger role for you now with, with Trey Sterling out. What, uh, what does he bring to the, to the defense? Uh, he's, he's JT is a playmaker, you know, said he, he got his hand on that field goal, which is great. I mean, he just shows up in places um, to make big plays, and he's done that throughout his career. So, um, you know, we miss Trey. Hope he gets better. But uh, JT is extremely capable of managing the defense. He's a smart, headsy player that just makes makes plays. Some guys have a knack. He's got a knack. Thank you.